excited about the opportunity to compete this year. Um, although we did have somewhat of an exhibition schedule last year, it's just great to see um, all our sports competing and, and playing the, the seasons. The opportunity to have uh, fans in the stands and just get our guys back to normality, um, it's just great. We've got a roster of, of 19 and we welcome 11 new Lumberjacks to the program and I think my sister, my staff and I did a really good job of trying to um, complement this, this 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 team with what we, with things that we think are um, necessary to win games in the CCAA. Uh, we're going to be we've got great talent, but more importantly, we recruited young men that are um, come from great character, that are selfless, and really um, care about the, the academics and and they they mark that they leave on. HSU when they're done here, um, we're gonna we're gonna be long. We got three guys on our roster over six nine, highlighted with Cam Timmons, six eleven, a Division one transfer who has four years of eligibility left. JT Riddick, who didn't get a chance to play last year because of injury, um, is, is six nine and athletic, can really get up and down and form block shots and score around the basket. Um, and then we, you know, we really. Did a good job, I think, of, of bringing in athletic wings that are long, with great size, to really complement our philosophy and style of play, which is transition basketball. And then we added Will Johnson, transfer point guard from the University of Oregon, to, to highlight um, that that point spot. So we're excited about you know the many different uh, young men we have in the program. Um, Jaden DeWall, JUCO transfer. Thomas Malonja, transfer from uh, Philadelphia Sciences out in Pennsylvania. Um, we got a little local juice on our roster as, as we run uh, Thomas Nelson in and Andrew Mork. So just, just to name a few guys, I can go here over and over about and raving about some of the things that these guys bring. But I think what you're going to see is a, a talented program that has a, a tremendous amount of depth who's going to play for one another and, and really compete. We look for guys when, when we recruit that, that not only have, like I said, and highlighted great character, but guys who have great motors and guys who are selfless. So I'm excited about this group. I can't wait to get started. Well, I'll tell you this. It really started in in July when the NCAA uh, passed that rule to allow Division II programs to have your guys on campus and, and practice. So we brought in nine Nine of our 11 transfers were here in July, so we really was able to build on that continuity um, and that gelling of, of, of each other's characteristics. And so I thought that was huge. And I think that this preseason, because those guys were already here, they were already, you know, implemented, understanding implementation of what we do as a unit, um, what our expectations are. So the piggyback off of off of, of July and then have this preseason here before we kick off our regular season, I think um, just was tremendous from a continuity standpoint and us putting in some things. I think um, we're ahead of where where we need to be at um, just because we, we had that time in the summer to really get things rolling. And, and I think these guys came back um, at the end of August with, with great understanding of what, what it is that we try to do, which which allowed us to kind of move forward at a higher pace than, than anticipated. You know, one of the biggest draws when this when I got this job was the, the community support and the administration support, and, and both of those support groups have been have been huge um, for the development of where we we'll trying to go and what we look to do here this season in the CC two A. Um, it's such a highly competitive conference from top to bottom. Um, we're really good players from around the state, so we're looking to play at the you know top of our league. We got we got an unbelievable opportunity to host. Our conference tournament this year, we you know we bring that CCA a tournament to Arcata, um, so which I think gives us a huge advantage. So our, our goal is to be a part of that six team tournament and really you know to play at the top of the league. Because I always said if you play at the top of the league in the CCAA, you put yourself in great position to make the NCAA tournament, which is which is our goal every year um, is to, to be a part of that West Region um, eight man tournament at the end of the year. Oh, it's such a, it's such a huge advantage because you know we we're the furthest most northern state, um, so it's a track up here to the Humboldt County for a lot of those teams in the Bay Area and in Southern LA. I mean Southern California. So I think that's that's a great advantage, and only to have these fans um, in the in the stands is just just another another way to distract our opponent. 
you know, when I go back and look at the history of this program and look at the success that they had under Tom Wood, I mean, they won almost 80% of their games during that, you know, that 10 year period, 80% winning percentage at home. So it's very hard um, to come in here and compete and win. Um, and we look forward uh, to the fans to give that extra boost and that advantage, especially if games are closing down the stretch. I'm excited, you know, it's, it's coming to fruition. I know we see our, our, our four sports get off and compete and just anxious uh, to, to get our season underway. We, you know, we've got such a long season. Our season is probably the longest season of, of any sport as it entails two semesters. You know, we start in August and potentially doesn't, don't end into the end of March. So I know, I know our guys are tired of beating up on each other and, and to get a chance to compete against some outside competition is, is exciting for us. I'm excited. Like I said, I think we've got a great bunch of guys. And I thought the coaching staff, um, my coaching staff, and my assistants did a really good job of putting us in position to have the talent um, to win games in this highly competitive league.